We're back yet again, <laughs> just like always, honestly, to little cities. And I see now we have a split between the campaign mode and the sandbox we're interested in now today. For some reason, it feels like the last update of the game because whenever something like that happens, then it's just the devs giving out all the tools they have for the people to create whatever they want. I mean, it says these were handcrafted. <laughs> levels and this is like whatever you want to make it be so i suppose whatever is up your taste then you just you do you <laughs> i'm curious about the possibilities especially after so many updates that this game got normally it's very good to have a creative freedom so i wonder if it's like a hundred percent you're free to do whatever so i press the button <laughs> one should be red i guess <laughs> To the space. In this mode you can sculpt your own island. <laughs> you pretty much have an empty canvas and you create. <laughs> I and then I don't know what to create honestly. I'm not that kind of person but Maybe something circular, like a circular city? Okay, cool, for more precision. Or like, yeah. I like in the middle. <laughs> There's so much to do now. <laughs> Let's maybe do something square for now. Can I move? I don't remember how were the controls. Okay. Something like consistent to make it clear what we're doing. And then what we have... Sand. Okay, so it's like different biomes. Grant water. Ah, is this thing for the water towers? I mean, it's annoying to not have it all across the island, <laughs> but it's not realistic. Some decorations, I mean, natural causes. We're not at the desert, mate. Oh, that's cute. Do we also have volcanoes? And it says it can cause volcanic eruptions, avalanches, pretty much everything that was happening before you can do now. I wonder if you can like stack the natural disasters. Ah, need to make it bigger. You are definitely not escaping this world. <laughs> I saw something here. Thermal vent. Steam provides power to certain buildings. I never saw this. It, was it in some update or whatever? Like, it has to be placed near the volcano. Abu? Okay, that's new. <laughs> different models, okay. Yeah, get away of this. Foliage? Oh, okay. That's how you call this? Trash. 
tree stem plants can reduce sandstorms in the surrounding area. Okay. See, I guess this update is also about new features. Huh? <laughs> I have wood here. Oh, nice. The land, I guess, we take instead of the citizens, the biomes. That's fun. Oh, landscape generator. Sure, I mean, that's kind of like big because <laughs> you don't need to rely on your own head, but like create anything. That actually seems to be a better idea, honestly. <laughs> like essentially infinite amount of levels. Let me cycle through some of them and I'll pick the best. That seems to be cool with me, like a separate island. Seaport is, I think, the start of the whole building journey. And that's it. You can also put some details. Disasters. Very frequent. Challenging citizens? What does that mean? <laughs> Reduced service radius and the cold items. Oh, that as well would be pretty cool for a video. Maximum level of 35. Okay, well, I guess that's it. You can switch if you want to create something more from the environment, but then you just plan your own sandbox. We have everything unlocked. Nice. I can see all the possibilities, like airport, I never saw this. Race trucks, wow. So that's what you unlock when you actually invest time into this game. <laughs> cool, I mean, there's no point in playing more, I suppose, because we're here to just highlight the sandbox mode and it works very well. <coughs> My voice. <laughs> to me personally, I feel like the generator is more convenient. It's like, you know, the old school gaming where you leave up to the computer to generate the environment for you to play and you can switch each day and stuff. To me, that's the highlight of this update, even though I'm not necessarily into the creativity itself. <laughs> it's very nice from the developers that they put this feature because it kind of wraps up the whole patch together. Now seeing it, I don't know if playing the campaign is necessarily more convenient. I mean, maybe because it was made by professionals, but also the generator doesn't seem to be stupid whatsoever. What if we say like features with water and stuff? Yeah, like it generates water resources. I see some sandstorms happening. Overall very nice. I feel like this is the best update to date for this game. It just introduces you the infinite amount of possibilities to whatever you want to get out of this game. 